Go for it, Hoppy. I believe in you, my little bunny. Excuse me, do you have time? My heart stopped when I saw you. All right, it's my turn now. I'm, I'm really nervous. Please support me. You have hurt yourself. I was passing by here and I saw you fall from the sky. Are you an exam? Because he has studied like crazy all night. That's definitely your style, Bubba. But you need to step up your romance game, haha. <laughs> Are you a pig of angry birds? Or because I want to beat you to death? Whoa, Kicken! What, what are you talking about? Hey, Kicken, that's not quite a pickup line. You're a bit off there. Oh, man! I'm feeling a bit embarrassed right now. Cringe! Oh, ha <laughs> I mean, well, like in the game, they are enemies. So in this case, I would let you eat my eggs for you. No, no, that didn't sound pretty either. Oh my gosh, he's really bad at giving compliments. Oh, Kicken, I have to admit that's quite, hmm, original, but not exactly relevant to our presentation. Idiot. I love you, my dear friend. How I wish I had a boyfriend like you. Oh, darn it. Why, oh, why am I always stuck in the friend zone? Listen up, Crafty, my dearest and oldest friend. Your girlfriend from Dog Day doesn't even come close, haha. -ha. No, no, and no again! That's not true! Take back your stupid words right now! Prepare to appreciate my creation, dear Kiki. I'm finally done, and everything is ready, haha. <laughs> a... a star and a flower? Yes! It's you and me! But in symbols! Cool, right? Cute. You would make a great tattoo artist. Oh... I'm... I'm so glad you liked it. Oh my gosh. Kiki, I love you. Thank you for appreciating my work. I really tried hard. I need to tattoo this forever. Do you think Kicken has tattoos all over his body, including his stomach? It would be so cool. Sometimes I don't understand what you see in me. I'm not like other boys. I'm not strong, I'm fat. I'm not interesting at all. I'm boring. I talk a lot. I can't be good at anything. What's wrong, Piggy? Listen to me carefully, Bubba. I'm going to tell you something very important, and you'll understand something. Big Boy, why are you saying these sad things? Is not true. You are kind, you are strong, you are very intelligent, and help as much as you can. I love your body, I love your voice, I love your kindness and intelligence. Mostly, I love you completely. And none of those sad things will change my mind. I love you, my little one. Thank you. Hey, what the hell is this? What the hell are they doing here? It's... Oh my god! What are we? But what the hell is only half of you left? I promise he's mostly harmless angel. Oh my gosh! Poor dog play! What am I going to do? How can I help you? Are you in a lot of pain? Answer me! Relax, catnap. Everything is fine, huh? I don't even seem to feel anything. So stop running around me and calm down. <laughs> and this is your house. Wow, that's amazing. You're so smart, Dog Day. Oh no. Guys, Ka, you came here too? But but why? Don't worry, Dog Day. Just, mmm, Shem. Big Dog Day's other half wanted to see our little house. You don't mind, do you? So, friends, are you ready for a new case? Ha ha ha. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Hey, Bubba, look. Holy crap. How did he even get up there? I hope she's careful and doesn't fall. Don't worry, Dog Day. She's a cat. Nothing will happen to her. Ha ha. Ah, it feels so good to just sit here and relax. This is such a wonderful way to unwind, don't you think, guys? Hey, Catnap, don't be sad, or I'll tickle you. Ha 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 Ah, no! Stop, Hoppy! Kicken, please help! Ha ha ha! What the hell are they doing there? And why didn't anyone call me? Oh, damn, stupid Catnap! Hey guys, leave Catnap alone. She's going to burst from laughing. It's okay, Dog Day. We're just joking and Catnap seems to be enjoying it, right? Oh, he's seriously going to do this in public? Oh my god, how embarrassing. Oh, Hoppy! Don't look! Turn away! Oh damn, that was a very bold move and I'm really embarrassed, but at least I showed Catnap how I feel. What the hell is going on here? If you have three chairs but there's six kids, what do you do? Oh my dear Bubba, this is a very simple riddle. You just need to bring more chairs. Ha <laughs> ha. I think it would be much easier if the whole family just stood today without using chairs. 
Haha, <laughs> Bubba, there's an even simpler way to solve this problem. Everyone just sit on the floor and there will be no problem. I would do just that. I have a very simple solution to this complex problem. Are you ready? We just need to turn the three extras into ashes and that's it. Ah ha ha ha! What? Catnap, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? Maybe you should go to sleep. What are you all looking at me so strangely for? I just proposed the perfect solution to the problem. It's always the same way. I have logic on my side, and you all ruin it with your emotions. Would you still love me if I was teared in half? Catnap? Mmm. I wonder what he'll say. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, damn it. I think I'm starting to get jittery. Answer up, you silly catnap. What the facts? What kind of stupid questions do you have in the middle of the night, Dog Day? How does it feel to believe that one day an angel will save us from this paradise, just to end living in a cage for the rest of our days? Catnap, what are you, what are you even talking about? What's wrong with you? Ave you good? This is the fifth time you do this. Ooh, how unlucky for Dog Day that Catnap's cat instincts kicked in at such an inopportune moment. Damn it! What the hell are you doing, Catnap? What's gotten into you? Holy shit! You have sharp teeth, Catnap! Do you sharpen them? That hurts like hell! What the heck? Catnap, cut it off! No, Dog Day! You never told me seriously! This is the reason! Hey, kickin' bro, I bet you five bucks that their stupid fight will end in kisses and reconciliation. Ha ha ha. Ah, ha 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 ha! Great idea, Hoppy. I accept the bet. I bet ten bucks that it will all be over in three minutes, ha! Huh? Want to do something funny? Um, dude, define funny. All right, Catnap. It's time for me to show you a little trick. <laughs> oh, my prototype. What happened, Catnap? Love hurts, Crafty. Almost done with this test. I heard about the storm coming soon, but honestly, it doesn't seem too much of a deal. I love you. Wait, is that... That's amazing. Did I really see? Catnap. He said he was sick for school. What the heck is he doing? I mean, it is spring break soon, so maybe he's just excited to hang out afterward. Despite that, why is he looking at me like a psycho? Again? Still cute, but creepy. He can be quite a strange guy at times. Catnap is actually sweet, kind and honest, but, but moments like this still scare me. Dog day? What are you up to over there? Is the view outside really more interesting than being here with us? Oh no, Miss Delight saw that I was distracted by the window and not working on the test. Oh no, no, what to do? You done with your test? Class is almost over, dear. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. On your way home too. Make sure Catnap gets out of that treehouse you built for him. Why, I, if you don't mind me asking, miss? The storm coming was alarmed by Mayor Poppy. So later at five, we must evacuate to the school gym. Dear, make sure Catnap is with you. Uh, what the hell? Yes, Mom. I'll make sure he gets here. Thank you, darling. Make sure you're back at 5 p.m. Ah, he's so cute when he sleeps. And I'm so glad I managed to become friends with him. Dog Day has really become my best friend. I feel so good being around him. <laughs> he hasn't come back. I told him he needs to be here by 5 p.m. Dog Day must have taken his friend to his father's house. He is the chief of police, so that's probably even more safe than the gym. Don't stress yourself, Delight. At least the rest is in the gym having fun. Ah, uh, Miss Mommy! Please slow down. I'm really afraid of heights. It seemed fun at first, but now I'm a little scared. Come on, Kicken. Don't be such a scaredy cat. Look how happy Bobby is. You should take a page out of her book and be a little braver. Just have fun, buddy. I'm sure those boys are fine. Ooh, boy, what a powerful storm. Hey, Catnap, sounds pretty scary, huh? Oh, damn. Looks like it's time to say goodbye to the glass. Be careful, Catnap. I don't want you to get hurt. I'm really worried about you. Oh, facts. I forgot to take you back to the gym. Ah, what's happening? Be careful, Catnap! Please hold on! Hey, hey! It's okay, scared! Don't be! We're gonna be okay, I promise! Starship Poppy, a reconnaissance and offensive vessel. Mission classified, mission duration classified. So right now I have to go on a mission and reach my cup. Mission accomplished, excellent, I am a great captain, haha. 
Captain, I have urgent information for you. I'm bored. When's the next mission happening? Maybe the next time Bubba gets an emergency call. Ah, those take forever! We're space riders. Shouldn't we be looking for problems to solve? Hoppy, the galaxy is huge. How are we going to find problems? Whoa, what's going on? Catnap, what are you doing? Stop it! Have patience, Hoppy. Don't worry so much. Ugh, oh, fine. Lucky you didn't break my ribs, Catnap. Your tail is incredibly strong. Lucky for you, we just got a call from HQ. The cult is active again. Where? General, you have a rather serious voice, which means the mission will be very dangerous, and we should be as careful as possible. The commander said they picked up activity in the Pisces constellation on a planet called Phantom. I'll be sending the coordinates to the GPS. All right, I'm in position and ready to carry out the task. Farewell life to you, damn necromancer! <coughs> damn it! Looks like I missed... I hope it was a heavy hit and he won't be able to get far! Oh, what the hell? What was that? Where did that attack come from? Never mind. I can't be stopped anyway. Ha ha ha. Those are the damn space rangers. Well, they came earlier than I thought, but they still won't be able to stop me because I've already finished my work here. I call upon you, slaves of the obelisks. Heed my call and turn the cosmic rangers to ash. I command you, slaves of the will of the higher mind, bring me their heads. <laughs> Prepare yourselves all. Activate AR interfaces and life support systems to combat mode. This fight will be incredibly challenging, but we will prevail. I forbid you to perish. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll turn these zombies into salad. Ha ha ha! My laser blades are sharper than any knife. Don't get too cocky, Kickin. My plasma gauntlets allow me to crush our enemies much faster than you. By the way, my score is already seven to your three. Ha! Huh. With your slow-paced diction, you should be recording ASMR for our blog instead of commenting on the battle, Hoppy. Everyone knows there's nothing better than my tail. Ha ha ha. Quit clogging the airwaves, you fools. We're in a life or death battle here, not a training ground. Get yourselves together and crush them quickly. We can't let their master escape. There are too many of them, Catnap. We need to act together. Now! Yes, Captain, I understand. Excellent. The combat modules are connected. Now we'll squash these zombies and get to the damn necromancer. Kaboom! Holy crap, we crushed them, Captain! Not a single one left, haha! -ha. Don't get too cocky, Corporal. I don't see the necromancer's body here. Mission successful. Tell Crafty to call the medical branch to retrieve the cultists. Affirmative, Bubba. Out. Dog day. Mission update. Welcome to Planet Borealis. This very planet was recently annihilated by the prototype cult, and according to available information, all forms of life were either destroyed or enslaved. Captain Dog Day decided to investigate this planet, as Angel was believed to be there. So we finally made it to this unfortunate planet. Unfortunately, these dreams are still haunting me. I need to get to the bottom of this and find this Angel. I don't want to put my squad at risk because of these visions. Are you sure you want to go by yourself? We don't know what's down there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll be a quick scout and I'll come back. Ugh, this is no ordinary scouting mission. My guys warned me it would be dangerous, but for the whole planet to turn against me? All right, get a grip, Captain. You can handle this. Should have guessed there would be cult activity. I mean, the planet has a giant crater filled with red smoke. But where I landed, the smoke level was a clear zero. Not a trace in sight, like someone has been slowly filtering the smoke out of the atmosphere. Back away from me, monster! Get away! Oh crap, I missed... This is a dead end. It seems I miscalculated and it will cost me my... life. I must fight to the very end, or fall to my doom. Ugh, damn it. Looks like I got hit. Judging by the amount of blood, I've taken a pretty serious blow. I didn't expect this kind of end. <coughs> Wait, this can't end like this. Can it be that I'll turn to ash on this dead planet? <laughs>